Welcome to the channel everybody, this is Hardware Despair, my name is Ryan and today we are playing Potion Craft, the Alchemist Simulator. Let's get into it. Day number 45, as you can see, let's go below and it's time to pick some herbs from our garden. I see we've got a couple of wind bloom, that's very nice, let me check that. I just want to see how many I have. Ten, okay. Still not many, <laughs> still far less than I'd like, but uh, that's okay. We have uh, 20, we, I'm sorry, 36 foggy paracels, so we're, we're winning already. We're doing fine. Uh, now let's see our first customer. I like this guy. I need grease, period. That's it. None of this fancy talk about, you know, floating over stuff or anything like that. He just wants grease. I love it. A weak potion will suit you. I like this man even more now. We do have grease. I went through and I got us some potions of slipperiness. Uh, both of them are one. I believe this bottle is turned. If we went and looked on it on the map here, I believe it's a turned bottle. So we, I don't have the ability yet to get a higher level. But I do have two different recipes because one of them calls for that crystal, which we are not going to be using. This is the recipe we will use. There we go. Perfect, sir. We have just what you need here. Ha 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 ha. Let's give that to him. Where is it? God, I have too many just random potions in my in my alchemist bag. Look at this. 411? Jeez Louise. All right. Um, yeah, I'm going to haggle this guy up a little bit. Boom. Plus 143 coins. Let's do it. Selling it. All right. So I'm not going to force you guys to sit through all these uh, customers. What I'll do is I'll go through. If we see any vendors, I'll bring you back for any interesting purchases. But uh, maybe we'll try at uh, try our hand at some of these harder recipes here too. I just want to, I want to get through the customers for at least this day. Just see, because I do... I do would really like to see the uh, rotating salt rec recipe come up for sale, but I just, I don't know. I haven't seen anything about that yet. So that's kind of what I'm looking for. Anyway, I'll see you guys in one second. Okay, well, I promised I'd bring you back for any interesting vineyard vi uh, vendors. And of course, Mike, the myconologist, he's, he's, he counts. He's in that category. Let's see, what does he need? Oh my God, he always wants a levitation potion. I'm not going to give it to him either because it takes up way too much of my wind bloom. I'm already down to five. I had 10 this morning and now these customers are taking my wind bloom away. But uh, let's just see what you got there, Mike. Oh, well, he's got more of the phantom skirts. I don't know if I need more of those. I got seven. I almost never use them. Now the foggy paracels, I bought a bunch last time. So I'm pretty good on that. Um, I will buy some stink. How much stink do I have? How much of the stink? We got 27. Yeah, I'll buy a few. Buy 13. Nice round number. And mushroom. Yeah, actually, I'll take a few of those. Let's get nine of them. And, okay, the mad mushroom is always big on my list. And I'm pretty sure I'm low on those. Hold on. I know it's this direction. Yeah, well, 21. Yeah, let's double it. I'm going to buy them out. Buying them out. All right, Mike, you're getting a good deal here, buddy. Uh, Phantom skirt. Oh, the shadow chanterelles. Yes. I'm just going to buy these out too. Okay, and I have haggled this uh, gentleman, I guess you might call him, down uh, 833 coins off that uh, top price. There we go, sir. Get out of my shop. Okay, what did we get? We got a talent point. Wow. Um, I'm almost tempted to go for trading four. Yeah, yeah, I'd be crying. Ooh, I don't know. We could get higher visibility. Yeah, that actually is going to make a pretty big deal, I think, in this late stage. So let's do it. Anyway, what, what, oh, they want a glue potion. Yeah, I've got a few of those already. I've already discovered that. Any new potions, too, that I haven't discovered yet, obvious I'll, I'll bring you guys along for. I think I have the glue already, though. Oh, wait, maybe that's one we can discover together because I'm going around here and I'm not seeing it. Why did I think I already did, though? Huh, I don't know. But uh, anyway, yeah, let's uh, let's go for a glue potion. Okay, so here we are on the oil, or yeah, the oil map. That's what we are on. I switched it from water to oil uh, because I did look it up. I went to the wiki and I looked up the glue potion and it said the oil map is like a less expensive recipe. I think it's on both maps, but here it's easier to get to. So it's real close to center actually. And I have obviously discovered it. I think this was one of the ones where I was just kind of going through discovering random potions and I didn't save the recipe because I think it had just a bunch of random effects 
specs on it from all these things around here. But this is not going to be a problem. Let's get down here. Let's have a little fun on the oil map, see what we can explore. I'm almost tempted to go right through the quicksand there because I know we could do it. But uh, I'd honestly, I'd prefer to get some of these XP booklets. Oh man, I actually like the goblin shroom. Set me up in a good position right about there. All right, let's go for it. Let's get some of this XP. We need to uh, we need to get our points back up here because I just wasted it on the visibility radius. Oh, oh my God, what was I thinking? Okay, so anyway, we've got quite a few books right here. Look at that. Look at the Goblin Shroom trying to be like oops, trying to be like the MVP of this recipe right here. I'm actually gonna go all the way back up too. It puts me in good position. Yeah, there we go. All right, do you see how that sand kind of affected it? Kind of moves the uh, the map a bit. It's weird, but uh, it's disorienting. You got to watch it. Be careful, but it's not deadly. So I guess it could be used to your advantage if you knew exactly how it was going to react, but uh, I'm not quite that good. So, and I don't know, that weird shroom's almost perfect, isn't it? Just a little bit too close to the skull and bones for me, though. So we're trying to get down here, obviously. Um... I don't see any whirlpools nearby. Oh, boy. Oh, wow. Okay, wait a second. Look at the poop shroom coming out here. We got some unlikely um, ingredients for this potion, but I'm loving it. All right, so I'm just going to put them there. It's going to screw them up a little bit going into the quicksand, but that's okay. It didn't, wasn't deadly. Um, hmm. oh, okay, that's, that's much better. Good old druid's rosemary. What is it called? Good berry. That's the good berry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, good old good berry. <laughs> All right, let's get that one, and we're just going for a loop. Hey, get back in there, you. All right, what do we got here? Oh, I'm looking in the wrong category. Ooh, I set myself up in a pretty tight little position here, didn't I? Oh, man. Oh, damn, I could use a parasol mushroom, but, like, in reverse. Hold on, I got an idea, actually. Where is Terraria? Where are you, good Terraria, sir? Ooh. This is going to be rough, but we're going to go for it. Because um, it's really the best thing, I think. At least that I saw. Oh, 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 oh potion failed. All right, I'm going to set myself up a little bit better than that, I think. Okay, so here you can see kind of what I'm doing. I've got two ingredients in there. We I went with the thorn stick and didn't fully crush it up. We stopped a little bit short, as you can see. Otherwise, the thorn stick will do, will kind of dog leg back on itself. So, and then after that, I went with the good old mud shroom. And again, I didn't fully complete this one because it would end up like right here in the skull and bones. But I thought, hey, instead of going around like through this little narrow passage, let's just go straight through. The benefit is we get this big old book right here. So let's do it. And here we go. Let's see. Uh oh, Terraria? No, no, you know, get out of my face, Terraria. The weird shroom. That's what I'm all about. I'm all about the weird stuff right now. Let's do it. We got poop shroom. Oh, no, this recipe has no poop shrooms. I'm sorry. I misspoke. Hey, what's this one? <laughs> I want to go check that one out now. But uh, all in due time. All in due time. Oh, look at that. God, the druid's rosemary is so perfect. I love it. That's my favorite, by the way. It's uh, it's so elegant. It's just a just a straight-up curve. I'm going all the way through that one, too, because we might hit this. And it might take a little bit, yeah, extra finesse to get it on there. Now, question is, should I go for a potency three here? I probably should. I bet you that one of the eventual um, alchemy machines will need it. So, okay, I'm going to need to go back a ways. Um, that's actually better, but not great. Because, I okay, here's the, well, it's not water, it's oil. So I need to be about roughly here-ish. Uh, oh, I don't think that's going to be quite a far enough turn for me, though. But that hairy banana, I'm keeping that in my back pocket for right now. That might be the trick. Whoa, wait, wait a second. Don't even tell me the sulfur shell is going to do it by itself here. Okay, you know what? I do have void salt. So if I throw this in and I don't like it, I can always backtrack a little bit. Erase the, uh, the excess there so we don't have to worry about it. Look at this. Look at this beautiful little man here, helping me out, helping me get settled. Oh, God, I think I just screwed it up. I went too far. Did I go? I, I went too far. 
dang it. Oh, I had it too. It was perfect. That's okay. You know, like I said, here's what we're going to do. We're going to use some of our salt. This recipe, I mean, obviously I'm going to save it, but it's like, it's kind of a dumb recipe. Like don't, don't follow this recipe at home. <laughs> All right, so let's get rid of this. And what I'm going to do is probably toss in just a water bloom, you know? All right, so we just used a thousand of the salts there. Um, yeah, give me a water bloom. How's that looking? Yeah, 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 that'll do it. Not even going to crush it up. All right, now I got to get my head in the game here. Look at that. All I did was touch it and it turned to a three. Heck yeah, instant. All right, save the recipe. Just knock the void salt off, actually, and it's a good recipe. You don't even need the void salt or the water blue if you just keep your head in the game, unlike me. All right, let's do it. Let's sell that puppy. Um, oh, look, here's a glue stone skin lightning protection. That's a glue three also. Wow. Uh, I must have, that's probably where I discovered it from. Wait a second. Do you want this potion instead? Oh, she does. Uh, which one's worth more? Because that one, now that I think about it, oh, they're the same. That one might be for the alchemy machine. I don't know. I better double check that before I just go and sell it willy-nilly. Because it could be a pain if I don't have it saved. All right, there we go. Goodbye. All right, I'm going to get through the rest of these folks. Again, like I said, if anything interesting comes up, I will see you guys then. Okay, well, here's an interesting request right here from this gentleman. He says he wants a potion that lifts curses. And at first I thought maybe he wants an anti-magic potion which I don't think I actually have yet. I'm uh, fairly sure I've discovered it, but I didn't, again, save it. Um, but I looked it up just to be sure. Check the wiki, because you can look at the request, too, to figure it out. And um, it's a luck potion. It's not anti-magic. It's luck. And that's on the water map, and I didn't even know that potion existed. So we're going to do a little bit more exploring, folks. Well, it says northeast of center, and that's up in this direction, obviously. I was thinking maybe I could spot, like, a, one of these little dotted lines, but I don't see any of them, like, in this general vicinity, kind of that go off into the fog of war there. So I think we're just going to have to kind of come up here, start from scratch, and just build our way up and see where we go. It says northeast of center, so... I mean, I guess it's maybe it's farther out here. Then again, it could be, like, right here, but... Um, well, we'll find out. Let's uh, let's go. Let's do it. All right. What do we want to start? Whoa. I love the... Uh, where was that one? It's not that. Oh, it's this one. The Spell Bloom. God, I only have one of those. All right. Well, we're not going to use the one. But I do love this Mage Berry, too. It's actually pretty cool. So as, you don't even need to go through the whole thing, obviously. Oh, my God. Uh, we almost lost it. But uh, that was good. That got us right out of there. I'm, in fact, tempted to use a second one here. And what I'm going to do is I think I will crush it up, swing it back around just to make sure we get both of those little XP books. Gimme, gimme, because I'm greedy. All right, let's keep moving. So what do we want to do? I do have four of these arcane crystals, which are pretty sweet. They're just like a straight shot. So I might actually try to get to like this position and then use one. Because going through these things is such a pain in the booty. Uh, yeah, this whirlpool's no good. This whirlpool we might use, though. We'll see. Also, this one. I could whirlpool to here and then the there. Oh, these are actually all kind of handy whirlpools. All right, so anyway, stop getting distracted by whirlpools. Oh, uh, that's a little too close for me. Oh, darn it. Oh, look, this one's perfect. What is this one? The dream? Yeah, dream beat. <laughs> Love it. It's a dream to me. We're even going to get that little XP book along the way. Gorgeous. All right. Yes, we will use this just for that little bitty extra bump. Now, can we get over there real quick and easy? Oh, my God. Look at that. The mage berry is nailing it. So it's going to put me here. I'm thinking how much farther... Honestly, I don't think I should crush that mage berry up at all. See, what I was thinking was I'd like to have maybe an extended tail on it so that when we reach this position, I can still move. But I think the, the angle on that dream, is that what it's called? The mage berry is a little too shallow. I think it would have caused us to cut right through here at this level. You'll see what I mean when I get there. We'll, t we'll see what a dream shroom. Yeah, see, if I had gone through that, it would have cut me right through there. So that I'm, I'm glad I didn't. But uh, boop, 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 boop. we just need to get a little bit closer. 
Uh-uh. Yes. Yes. Look at that. Shadow Chantrell. I guess I will crush it a little. Oof. That's This is rough because we're kind of going through the thick part here. Oh, it's good enough, though. It is good enough for the crystal. Let's get this sucker crushed. I love the feel of the crystals versus the plants. I, it just feels more difficult to crush up the crystal to me. And I think it is. All right. Um, okay, so we've made it to the charm potion. Or no, that's the hallucination potion. Um, so we don't know many whirlpools from here, but there are a lot of XP books, aren't there? Ho -ho. All right, let's see. Dream beat. Okay, we're going with the uh, shadow chanterelle. Just not gonna... I love this mushroom. It's a great, very versatile. I almost never use it to its fullest, like, root, though. I always cut it short, as it is with a lot of different herbs. All right, what what next? What's, what's the most sensible course here? Is the most sensible course to backtrack a little bit and get this book, actually? Oh, look. Oh, this is actually perfect. The blood shroom coming in clutch again, and I'm going to bring it all the way back, believe it or not. I'm actually using that one to its fullest. Boing. Look at that. That was great. Okay, now we are going to move. Oops, I'm sorry. Now we're going to move. Do, do, do. I guess this way. I don't want to use those witches' mushrooms, though. I don't have a lot of them. I'd rather use a shadow chantrail. Oh, yeah. All right, so that's... Oh, why did I just go through the whole damn thing? That was stupid. Um, hmm. Now I'm actually tempted to see where this whirlpool will take me. Come on, why can't I drag the map here? There we go. Um, it's usually not, like, ridiculously far, so it's worth testing it. Oh, wow. That was awesome, actually. Okay, let's finish this. We learned. That's, like, one of the farthest I've ever seen, too, right there. So, now, question is, um, I guess we just move along the perimeter here? Because I'm assuming this is the edge of the map. I'm, I'm just assuming that. I don't know. But anyway, let's just move. Let's just go. Tangleweed, you're just a wild plant, but I love you. I love it. I love what you're doing. Let's go for it. Oof. Look at that. Nailing the booklets. Oh, well, we're kind of in a terrible spot now. Yeah, that witch shroom. It's cutting it close. Cutting it real close, but it's going to land us in a good little spot. Hopefully we don't screw this up. Oh, boy. Got my heart pumping there. That's okay. We're getting some serious, serious XP here. Oh, wow. Yeah, this is cutting us close too, but I think it's going to be okay. I have faith in the, in the druid. I have total faith. Look at this. Blink. Barely even touched it. Okay, so where the heck is this at? I assumed it would be like here, but there's nothing there. So it must be down? I hope the wiki didn't lie to me. <laughs> uh, just using a bunch of ingredients to go exploring, basically. But uh, let's keep it up. Let's keep it up. No. No, this is all lame. Oh, hello. Where have you been all my life? God, I don't have many of those left, do I? I've only got two. Two after this. Yeah, I gotta be very conservative with my, uh, what is this? Mud shroom. Well, what is, is, that, is that a bottle right there? I think that's a book. I can't tell what it is, but let's just go. Let's just go for it. Whatever the heck. Um, oh man. I actually have five of these too, so I'm okay with using some of those. The crystals. There we go. Plain old terraria root. Can never go wrong. All right, let's stir it up and see where we go. Hey, what is that right there? That is a brand new potion, and I'm certainly hoping it's a, a luck potion. Desperately hoping. In fact, where does this stop us? No. Oh, pooey. Hold on. Let me go through here. Let me just look. I'm taking my time, not screwing them. God damn that druid's rosemary. It is so perfect. hope this doesn't kill us. No, of course it doesn't. It's the Druid's Rosemary. It's never going to kill me. All right, we'll use a couple Terrarias because I just don't care. Ooh, 
I, actually, I think I'm going to get this potion, whatever it is. Pray it's the luck. Obviously, we can't get higher than a one here. What was it? It is luck. Yay. And now we're going to go ahead and get some more uh, XP booklets. Look at this. We're too close to say no. So, I guess I will save this recipe. Well, let's just grab these and call it quits. That's fine. That's fine. Finish. Save last recipe, although it's a garbage recipe. Very inefficient. Needs to be redone. Where the hell is it? Oh, here it is. All right. Yeah, I'll keep my uh, newer stuff down here towards the bottom. And some of these definitely need to be replaced. They're not the most efficient, like I said. But uh, that was good. That was good. Let's sell it. Boy, I hope you are ready to pay out the butt for this potion. Yeah. Could be better. Okay, well, all the patients are gone. I keep calling them patients. All the customers are gone. I guess they're kind of both, right? Uh, but if we take a look here, there's obviously a few potions we still haven't discovered. Namely, the uh, enlargement potion. No, this is the shrinking potion right here. We'll also need an enlargement eventually. I think it's for, yeah, there's an enlargement one too. But uh, for the moon salt shrinking potion is what's needed and you can see down here i guess according to the alchemist path we still for this chapter god we're so far um which one are we on okay here we go by advanced you can see create moon salt so we do need to create the moon salt i don't know what it does but it's probably handy i mean the void salt is somewhat handy I actually kind of like that one. I've used it a couple times. But um, let's see here. Yeah, so what we're going to do is we're going to go for the shrink potion. Now, I did go to the wiki, and it's east of center on the water map. You can see in this, lo in this instance, there is actually a dotted line here. So I assume this is probably it right here. Now, there's also, interestingly enough, though, I think there is another dotted line. I thought I saw it. Okay, there's that one to the luck. No, I guess not. I thought there was another one like right here, but I thought maybe my eyes were just seeing things. Sometimes this map, it's hard to determine, but uh, no worries. We are going to need to crystal across this though. Okay, we have the arcane. I think that's the best we've got, honestly, in terms of getting east. Yeah, we need a crystal that will... Uh, this kind of works, so... Let's just get over there. Uh, we'll get to this portion right here, and I think we can pop through. Maybe if I can get down to here, we can use the crystal to get to that book right there. Okay, well, I've never actually done this before, but there's no reason not to. I guess there is a reason, but I won't get into it. It's just, it, it probably can be uh, harmful if you're not super familiar with the ingredients you've got. You could end up wasting some. But I've went ahead and drawn out, you know, the list of ingredients without doing the stirring. So let's go ahead and stir it up. Let's see what I've what I've concocted here. I'm also going for some XP there. Let me get a little bit better centering here. All right, there we go. That's a little bit easier to see. There we go. Of course, we're just getting as many books as we go along the route. Beautiful. We get ourselves to right here. How's our talent points? Okay. Um, and I've got the crystal as the last read. Well, it's not the last one, but <laughs> it's going to get us through. Boom, and we got that 240 book. Nice, nice. Now, again... I think it's just right here so let's get over there let's see here ba, ba, ba. i don't know i guess i will it's kind of fun doing it this way i have such a like a habit to go and uh stir the pot each time though like i had to stop myself a couple times earlier when i was setting it up look at this little spot i just noticed this you go through here just to get to that what no i'm not doing that all right let's let's keep going do the curly Q, and now let's go north here a little bit. A couple of witch mushrooms. That'll do the trick. Look at that. Taking us right past the skull and bones there. Toss that in. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll do two. How do I get too crazy? All right, we're going to go up there now, because I think we're at a point here on the map where we'll start to push away that fog, so we do want to get closer here. Let's go ahead and stir it all up. Yeah, it's kind of fun doing it that way, though, planning it out. Oh, this is another twisted one, so. Well, we're not going to get... Oh, boy. Oh, Shadow Chantrell. You are perfect. You are so perfect. Help me get that book there. We're not going to get a Potency 3, but hey, it's better than nothing. And that is unfortunate, though, because... All right, let's just finish it, save it. Um, it wasn't for a customer, obviously. It was for this one. But this is a potency three. So I don't... So that means before we can advance, 
our next chapter and make the moon salt, which is what it's calling for, and a potion that needs to be turned, um, I have to wait and find the recipe for the uh, rotating salt. As far as I can understand, that's what allows you to rotate the bottles. So I think that means I'm just going to have to wait until the vendor pops up one day and has it, hopefully. And also, we have to have the money for it. Uh, now, that shouldn't be an issue. Because I'm going to make sure that I have pl plenty of cash on me from now on. Uh, I'm not going to go splurging on crystals or anything. Although I might, uh, as long as I have the cash. But uh, anyway, guys, that does it for this episode. Thank you so much for stopping by and spending time with me. If you enjoy the content, hit like and subscribe. It really helps the channel out. Also, check the description down there for uh, links to Discord and Patreon. And I will see you guys on the next episode. Hey everybody, thanks for watching, and now check out this fan art by a couple of my Discord members, Finn and Vita. It's pretty good, and I love the cuttlefish.